You know, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have worked for a company for 27 years that, that uh, when, we ever, when we consider new ventures, um, we try not to, to let price be the t determining factor. We look at what the needs are um, for our families as well as what's going to best serve our company and employees. The facility here does allow for families to take part in every aspect of the cremation. Uh, there are comfortable surroundings that, um, for family to be seated and be present while the cremation takes place. We have an atrium that's back behind me that um, brings some of the outside elements in, giving a natural feel to cremation. In the past, we had used a third party uh, crematory for our cremations, and it was kind of the old school setting in a very industrial type of environment. More and more, we had families that were um, requesting to be present during cremation, and we wanted to have something that was a little nicer, a little more family friendly, a little softer, but at the same time still was able to um, convey the, all aspects of cremation to families. We actually chose the, the, the FT2 retort because we had uh, heard great things about the unit and the company. Um, we initially made a, a site visit to Schettinger Funeral Home in uh, Ohio. Uh, we're very impressed by the efficiency of the equipment, um, the design of the equipment, and also um, that it was very quiet, very self-contained. Uh, these things were important to us. The quality itself was, um, even though it may have been a little higher than the machine itself or the equipment, a little higher than some of the competitors, we felt that the quality and the efficiency of the machine um, was, was a great value um, for the price that we paid for it. We factored in our cost and uh, would it, you know, how long it would take to actually um, to pay for the unit and um, to um, actually at this point because of the increase in cremation and a few other little tweaks, uh, we're, we're ahead of uh, the projections for the return on investment. What I liked best, I think, was that there was a reconnaissance team that kind of came in and checked out our facility, you know, before the machine arrived. and. Um, uh, once it was here, they, they, they worked with a local rigger, and um, once the machine was here, the install went extremely smooth. Um, we were up and running in a, in a matter of uh, days. We were watched pretty strongly by the county since this was the first crematory, and uh, the, the inspectors as well were extremely impressed with the machine. Everyone that saw it that knew what machinery was, including the um, the Department of Environmental Quality Inspector commented on the quality of the machine. I was very confused um, and baffled by the lack of anything I needed to do. I was searching for things to do. Um, bothering the company, trying to find, you know, what am I supposed to do at this point? Because um, everybody I've always talked to about repositioning and doing this, and they've got to watch for whatever the catastrophic um, things that other units or older models would do um, just don't happen. I think uh, one of the, the, the greatest features uh, would be the, um, the app for my smartphone. Uh, it's great to be able to um, be on the way into work and I can log on to my smartphone and actually um, start the preheat process on the machine. I can monitor the, the progress of a cremation by my, uh, my smartphone or my laptop or the desk computer. Um, and that's one thing that um, um, not only monitoring but you can make changes as well. So. Uh, that's, that's a great use of technology and, and being able to not only monitor but alter and change the machine if you need to.